Hey guys, this is Vance Logic, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia, where everything's made up and the points don't matter. In the last part, I gotta keep remember I gotta remember that I'm gonna stop doing that. Uh well we made a pack with Bolt, that much I'll say, and I'm trying to figure out I'm how to make my way around all of this place because god damn it. Uh well right here in this freeze frozen over area, or at least the snow area, this is where we gotta be going in order to recover the reards. So yes, it's all fair and good. And god damn it, it's hard for me to control this thing. I think I could probably make my way in there. Yes, I can. Alright, cool. Ah, there we go. Eh, I parked it backwards. So, small hope. Damn that, Rodal. What does he want? plan to do with Colette? Blah, 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 blah. If Kratos' words are true, Colette hasn't been taking the Darius car long. There's still hope. Yeah, if Colette becomes Martel, there's nothing we can do. But right now, all we have to do is get her back from Rodile. Why does this have to keep happening to Colette? To hell with this whole chosen thing. Whatever the fuck it means, I don't know. So, the Tetheala base. This way. Alright, fine, jeez. So, you're just one of our people who infiltrated the Renegades. Easiest way to investigate the declining world of Silverants. Or Silverant. So, it's guard duty this moment. So, yes. Alright, easy entrance. It's time for us to get in there and get those Rayards. Are we in a hurry, Lloyd? Oh, of course! Why well, you guys have to keep freaking talking? Hey, Zealous is gone. You're right, I wonder what happened to him. Ah, there he is. Ah, hey, sorry to keep you waiting, my cute honeys. Were you lonely? <laughs> no. What were you doing? Everyone was worried about you. I was just taking a quick look around the area. We wouldn't want to walk into a trap now, would we? Now it's time to start the adventure of the Great Zealous and his cute honeys. Ha! <laughs> I'll explain the infiltration procedure. Please come this way. <laughs> okay. There's no time. I'm gonna make this quick. Please make it quick! The Rayard Hangar is in the deepest part of this facility. There's only one passage to the hangar. Sounds like a piece of cake. I'm not done. Even if you get to the hangar, the door will be shut. So it's locked. That was so obvious! In order to open that lock, you must enter a passcode, so we don't know the passcode. I know there are three passcodes, but that each code is in the possession of a different design. In other words, we need to catch those three and get them to tell us the passcodes. I kind of... Yeah. <laughs> So if we need something, one last thing, even if you acquire the Rayards, it's highly unlikely they'll be able to make the transfer to Silveron in the current condition. Why? Rayard dimensional transfer reception functions by procuring un energy from the Renegade bases in the two worlds. Flying is not a problem as long as you have Volt, but without energy charge from the base, then the reason we're able to go from Silveron to Tethiala was they must have already been charged with energy. We were lucky. There's no choice. Right now we need the ability to fly. Damn right we do. All we gotta do is fly in this world, that's all I give a damn about, so I'm just gonna say right meh. I think you can talk to this guy, he'll give you a... So, yeah, we have one code, there's three passcodes, and then he heals you. So, yes, and of course they give us a sorcerer's invention already, and it's the exact same one we've seen up until now. So, yes, I'm gonna be buying some stuff. Holy fuck! They started selling these now?! Fucking miracles! Alright, cool. So I'm just grabbing some of this, maybe one of these, some of those, and all that other good shit. Damn, we got a bunch of lemon gels too, pineapple gels, and miracle gels. I wish I could get these, but look at this. They cost 3,000 gold, and I barely have almost 12,000. Almost. Not quite, though. I'll just get three of these, and I think we should be good with that. So, onward to kill some fuckers! You would think an alarm system will go off or something, but nope. So, foot soldiers and evil warriors. I think they're different from the last time we fought them, so yep. Of course, they're strengthened for our levels now. The sun's just gonna be kicking some ass right now. Holy crap! So, yep, the evil. Evil warriors are gonna be, uh. The evil warriors are gonna be the hard hitters of this whole. of the enemies. Somewhat annoying, too. When you see that one, just try tackling me. Fucking bastard. Hey! Damn it, Gina! You knocked him down. And now he has inv slight invincibility frames. Semi invincibility. I know it was genius. Anyway, what I mean by semi invulnerability is like when you knock them down, they get back up and they like. Holy fuck. <laughs> what I meant by that is that, uh. Like when you knock them down and they get back up. Holy fuck! Fine, jeez! You knock them down, they get back up. 
and then like you can't really stagger them for like a couple seconds, like two seconds, and then after that, yeah, you're good. But then after that, you can actually hurt them normally again. Plus, I think they have like slightly heightened defense, as if like they were using Guardian the whole time. And he extended level two right here. Yeah. Just making sure I'm grabbing some stuff. Look at this. They have all. Why do they have? Okay, that's kind of making me curious. Why do they have s rooms with nothing but a treasure chest inside of that? Because you guys saw those rooms. They had nothing but the treasure chest, and it was so such a tiny room. It seems kind of pointless. And a waste of resources, too. You're gonna and rabbits. And, of course, the annoying freaking rabbits. Hey. Actually, now that I think about it. Hey, we're not fighting Bolt anymore. <laughs> Hello, Sheeted. I'm gonna rape some stuff. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Ha 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 ha. I love that. Damn it! There goes the semi and golden fiddle of people. Son of a bitch. Damn those semi-invulnerability frames. I'll call those guardian frames. Oh, I think this is who we have to fight for the first uh, passcode. Holy fuck. Commanders. Or commanders and two evil warriors and commander. Hey, I'm trying to go for this guy. I'm assuming this guy has the passcode, but yeah, he's going to be magical. Ah. So yeah, he's a magic user and somewhat of a fighter. Hey. Here we go. Uh huh. Yeah, no. <laughs> now for the evil warriors. Also, yeah, Pyre Seal can pretty much knock down an enemy, but as long as you're like wailing on him with anyone else, like he can't be knocked down. So that's why I want to try. Ah, uh, there we go. Pasco, the life of. All right, cool. So yeah, as long as you're attacking with someone else while Sheena uses Pyre Seal, they won't get knocked down. So that's pretty cool to know. So yeah, if you're fighting against someone, make sure you're attacking while Sheena uses Pyre Seal. Yes, now to continue onward over here and more freaking rabbits. I do not like the rabbits, my buddies. And crap, where do I go from here? I can't remember. Yep, yeah, this rest of this, I'm gonna kind of go blindish. Oh, found the memory gem from that enemy, so I don't know why I skipped that. So we gotta go to like a lower level in order to get to the bottom of that. But at least we got the first pass. Go the life of uh Whitney Houston. Oh God, why am I? That's not even a joke. I'm just pointing out that she died like yesterday. So yeah, I'm recording this. Or I think oh, that's what I heard. She died yesterday. Well, that's what I heard yesterday is that Whitney Houston died. I'm recording this on February 12th. And can, why am I gra grabbing some items? I need the healing. So far, the life of. Yeah, thank you for that. So we gotta go this way. I don't think we're going this one yet. So yeah, Whitney Houston is dead. Honestly, I'm... I don't really feel anything. Not saying that it's bad that... Not saying it's a good thing she died, but... It's just like with... Uh, you guys are gonna hate me for saying this. I reacted the same way with Michael Jackson. It was like when I heard that he died, and I was like, oh, Alright, cool. That sucks. Because like, I remember that day too. Because Ah, fuck. And again, that's what I get. Because I remember that day, I was just playing Galaga on, like, Xbox Live Arcade, and then, uh... Shit, it's funny. <laughs> well, not funny, but... I was just playing Galaga on Xbox Live Arcade, and then, like, my sister came into the room and was like... I was like, wait, what's up? She was all like, uh... Like, Michael Jackson just died. I was like, oh. Well, that sucks. And I just started... I just kept on playing Galaga. <laughs> oh, God, I am going to hell. I am seriously going to hell, and wait, wasn't I already? What? Oh, wait, this is probably just like a repeating room. Oh, not a repeating room, it's just like a room that looks exa almost exactly the same as the last one. Or at least that path did, anyway. So, oh, dang, I'm gonna need a block. And I'm pretty sure... So yeah, look for the purple design-looking buddies. This is gonna be a because of course, they're, those are the ones that are gonna have the passcodes. Hey, no. The way he positions himself, it looks like he's trying to summon. Ah, uh, no. Hey. I'm gonna keep using this, buddy. At least until I get lightning thrust. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm hitting anything with it anymore. Hey. 
There you go. 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 Okay, I'm done. Alright, cool. And getting some of that. And why the hell is Lloyd making the tenderloin? And next passcode is the star. Uh, the star is, so, yeah. Why the hell is Lloyd cooking tenderloin? No, he's not good at that. Genus is the one that's best at making tenderloin. Like, overall, though, I think the best cook in the party is Regal, which is kind of funny, so it doesn't even make a sound. And uh, maybe I gotta shoot this, maybe? Ah, there we go. Alright, cool. Light lift engaged. Engage. Alright, so we just gotta figure a way around this whole uh, thingy mababa. Oh, crap. Alright, so now that we got Genus making the tenderloin again, it's good for everybody. Because, yes, he's the best making tenderloin. Oh, crap. You can pretty much tell what everyone is proficient in just by looking at the amount of stars they have available on a freaking dish. So, like, with Genus, I think he has the maximum stars possible with tenderloin. Like, even though Cook's the best... Regal's... <laughs> I was about to say Cook is the best Regal in the party. <laughs> Like, even though Regal's the best cook in the party, there are certain things where, like, he's not really... Or he doesn't like making, I suppose. So I'm just gonna say right here. So he doesn't like making certain things, and... Boy! I don't know why I'm checking that. We got a chest right here. Silver mail. I'm getting that on Lloyd. Of course, we're just gonna be giving uh, <laughs> Zellos our hand-me-downs. Battle suit. Alright, cool. Zellos, eh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, buddy. And, shit, we just gotta look around our whole- Holy fuck, this guy's going fast! Hey, 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 jeez! How far do you go out? And, there's not- Man, we can't do anything with that either. How far does this shoot? No, not that far. I was gonna try shooting from over here, but- Nope, that's not gonna reach at all. Fuck, I can't- I'm going at this blind. Yeah, I'm going about this whole puzzle blind because- Actually, now that I think about it, I went about, I went about the Temple of Lightning Blind, and I didn't even have this, that much trouble with it. Me? Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh! I see what they did there. So what you want to do is, I think you want to get blocks to this lift. Uh, that or something else. Can't move this block. Can't do anything with this one either, so I'm assuming we got to do something with... Oh, I see, yeah. I think I know what I got to do. Push this one right here. Then once we get this thing activated, then we gotta push those these two blocks back on. Because if I know if I'm looking at this properly, then we gotta get a block up there or something. I'm gonna assume we do. Honestly, I am telling you guys honestly, honestly, a lot. I'm saying honestly a lot, honestly. <laughs> God. <laughs> and there's a Freaking block thing in my bobber right there, and we gotta use this lift too to get a block down here. And there we go, lavender. And we got that one activated. Not this one though. Blah. I think most of these blocks are mainly there here just for like uh something. All right, I'm just gonna check around the whole area. Raise it. Uh. All right, cool. And crap, I can't go about that. I can't go around that. And crap. What do I do with this then? I can't remember. I'm thinking we could push the block right here and then we can link freaking light from there. Ah, crap. Alright. Hey, there. Lower. 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 Too low! Lower. <laughs> ah. I don't know what to do, sir. I think that's too narrow anyway. I'm just gonna go look around more. Alright, I'm just looking around still. I'm just back like around the main. Holy crap, I'm looking at you. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's not necessary. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back, I think. Probably. I'm gonna have to do something. I don't know, my good sirs. I'm trying to. There we go. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have more trouble with this puzzle than I did with the Temple of Lightning, so yeah. Oh, this is what Cyber Goku was talking about with like the one comment he left on my video on the first Temple of Lightning part. He's like, yeah, just wait till you get to the next to next puzzle. <laughs> oh, this is what you meant. Fuck. Jeez, I just barely realized that. 
Ugh, crap, no wonder you had to So yeah, I'm gonna have to light that up somehow, and I just can't remember fucking how. That thing's lit up though, so... Maybe we could just... Eh? 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 Yeah, alright. Oh, wait, I can see... Oh, what the fuck? What am I... Why am I fo fixated on this thing then? What the hell? What you want to do is get that thingy up. Well, get it back down, I mean. <laughs> get on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Oh, wait. Jesus! I'm being presumptuous right now. Push this further in. Just push this. Ride it up. Push this in. Then ride it back down. And go around. Jeez. Holy crap. You again. Seriously. Hey. No. No. That's not cool, buddies. Alright, so I think I figured it out somewhat. Kind of. Not really. Well, I'm a, I want to assume I'm about a third of the way through this puzzle. Alright. So how's it going, guys? Uh, I just... Well, who am I kidding? I came to this realization a long time ago. Like, I am really influent- I can be influenced really easily. If you're probably wondering what I mean by that, it's like, I see things, like, from other people's perspectives, and I'm like, oh, cool, that seems pretty awesome. Uh, case in point, any of Sire Goku's Let's Plays, honestly. Like, like, he may not be very well known, but the games he's played, they've gotten- they've piqued my interest. Like, Secret of Mana, Tales of Symphonia 2, and yes, I bought those games. I seriously bought those games. Yeah, I think we can write this. Holy crap! Alright, cool. So yeah, I bought Secret of Mana and Tales of Symphonia 2. I can't remember what. Oh yeah, and Super Castlevania 4, mainly because I saw him playing it. And uh, let's start that one up. And there's a chest wrap, meh. With a beam shield. Alright, cool. And not to, and another example is Nintendo Capri Sun, of course, because uh, <laughs> he's doing Con Donkey Kong Country 3 right now, because he's pretty much been doing the Donkey Kong Country trilogy already, like for the past two or three months, I can't remember how long, but he's just been doing the whole Donkey Kong Country series. I already had Donkey Kong Country 2 on my Wii, but then once he started doing Donkey Kong Country 3, I finally bought Donkey Kong Country 1 and 3 on my Wii, and I had just enough money left over or just enough Wii points left over to buy Castlevania 1. Yeah. Don't get me interested in the game, because I will fucking buy it. I swear. Now, what do I do about this? Ah. 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 Oh, wait. I lift oh, right. I lifted that up. What am I going to do with that, then? Oh, crap. I almost walked into the freaking electric beams. Freaking laser beams, man. But, yeah. I am really influenced by other people's perspectives or something. Which is strange, though, because I haven't beaten Tales of Symphonia 2 or Secret of Mana. But I bought them! Regardless, <laughs> because they piqued my interest. With Tales of Symphonia 2, I like barely into like chapter 3 or 4, I can't remember exactly. And Tingles. <sighs> Man, this place is just big for no apparent reason. It is big, this is true. We've already done this tingling thing with the Sorcerer's Ring once before in Silveron. Really? Yeah. Wanna try it? Uh, okay. Ah, it tingles. Ah, per se, don't point at yourself. Oh, okay. Don't point it over here either. <laughs> ah, damn it, per se. You're freaking awesome, man. May as well get some healing in right now. So the life of the star is... Alright, it's making a sentence. This makes somewhat sense. This makes some sense somewhat. Alliteration! God, what is with me in alliteration? I guess I love it a lot. Because if you guys notice, like with one of the parts on Super Mario Galaxy, if you guys have even watching it, because I think I named one of the parts, uh, Boulder Guys something. I can't remember. Bowie Bass, Boulder Geist, and Bowser Jr. Something like that. Like, and yeah. Oh, holy fuck. So yeah. I'm just gonna kill these enemies because they are kind of annoying. There you go with the Sonic Thrust, buddy. I don't even use it enough times yet. Because I want to try getting Sonic Thrust to 200 uses because I think that's when you can learn Lightning Thrust with it. 
Ah, I see what they did here. Kind of. Not really. Oh. You gotta destroy it, I think. Oh, jeez. This kind of makes sense. Push it off. Destroy it. Yes! Free stuff! So, Renegade's technology. The roots of the technology possessed by the Renegades are the same as the Crucius, right? And I guess they are. Then I wonder if these guys make X-Spheres too. Yeah, they may be. Well, who the hell would bring humans all the way freaking out here? Not to mention it's in Tetheala, so yeah. Again, they're probably just assuming the ones in Silveron. The Silveron base, anyway. Holy crap, these guys keep chasing me! And I just want those items, sirs. So, what else is that? Oh, jeez. Do I have to do this every freaking time I come to this room? Push a block in the way, so that way I had to go and get freaking shocked or burned, whatever the fuck these lasers really do. At least I only have to do it once, I don't have to keep pushing this block over and over, like to this area or something. It doesn't block me off from here. But this time, let's push it right here. I hear noises! Or crap! 